Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetic. If you feel the same, please like, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications. And today we are going to talk about retinoids. So let's get started. What retinol actually is? Retinol and retin A are vitamin A derivatives and they're both go, comes, uh, they come from the class retinoids. Um, if it is formulated in the form of retin A, it's a prescription product and uh, retinol is over the counter product. Retin A is a little bit stronger than retinol, but it's not always a good thing because uh, sometimes uh, this not what your skin needs and can bear. And if your skin cannot bear it, you cannot use it on a daily basis, um, which basically leads to zero effect. It stimulates uh, the collagen built in cells uh, because of the loss of the collagen production in cells, skin becomes thinner. And because of that, skin loses elasticity, its thickness and firmness, and is basically aging. And then we start seeing the wrinkles on the skin. So guys, keeping skin thick is a foundation of any skincare routine. Uh, so retinoids um, stimulate the collagen production, uh, help with cell turnover. Also, they um, reduce melanin production that uh, improves discoloration. And it also gently peels the upper layer of your skin, giving you the brighter complexion. Retinol is a um, proven anti-aging product with research and studies over four decades now. How, uh, how to actually start using retinoids and how often, for how long, when. Uh, you have to start using retinoids in your 30s, ideally, and carry on till the rest of your life. You basically start and use it forever. Uh, you apply it at night, um, minimum three times a week uh, to see the results. Uh, when you start using retinoids, um, you you will see some you, your skin will become red irritated uh experience some dryness and flakiness this is the purging stage and it will not go away quickly it usually takes two ish weeks and uh many people give up on retinoids at that point because um they do not want to look this way uh and they use it only once or twice a week which doesn't do any good um, your skin is basically flaking at the, at the all the time um, when you apply it. <coughs> Excuse me, and the skin needs to adjust to retinoids. So you have to wait uh, till this purging stage is over. Then your skin will look perfectly normal. So guys, you need to start um, at first with a small percentage of retinol. Uh, I started with Ayope Retinol Expert, 0.1% uh, of retinol, and actually starting with this product, it just took me somehow through, really quickly through the purging stage. I didn't really experience any flakiness and redness for a long time, but I actually used it. I've been using it for a good half a year or so, then, only then, I could jump into another product, a stronger one, without any, like, redness, irritation, uh, though uh, I, I still experience dryness. Uh, so, guys, we need to start with a low percentage, at least three times a week, that is every other day, um, and use it for a little while, for weeks or even months. And then if you see that nothing's happening to your skin, then you can jump into four days and then into seven days. That is every uh, uh, every day. Uh, guys, there's also a, a retinal cream for eyes. Um, for example, I use uh, the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream. Helps reduce visible signs of aging around eyes. So uh, here they do not actually say what the percentage of retinol is but usually in eye creams the percentage of retinol is really low so go ahead don't be like afraid uh, 
like just go ahead and use it around your eye area it will not irritate or cause any redness or flakiness at all guys but when actually to apply retinoids uh it should be applied at night time uh it's your night skincare routine um and uh you have to apply it after your skincare routine is done but before the moisturizer um in the morning if you do not wash your face and just rinse it with a lukewarm water like i do uh keep it in mind that retinol uh, retinoids uh stay and still continue working but to reduce the strength of retinol uh product you can actually apply it before the moisturizer and also you can wash your face in the morning there is one thing you should not use retinoids uh along with Peelings. So if you plan to use peeling today, please skip retinoids in your evening skincare routine and continue with it the next day. But uh, what it can be combined with for better results? Uh, the first one is vitamin C. Vitamin C uh, actually um, works perfectly well with retinoids to achieve the better results. Uh, it also stimulates collagen production, helps brighten the skin, also prevents melanin production uh, that uh, decreases uh, pigmentation, and it also fights free radicals. Also, niacinamide is a great product to use along with retinoids. Uh, it helps with pigmentations, uh, pigmentation, wrinkles, acne, large pores, excess oils, uh, ex excess oil dryness and redness uh, and the last the crucial moment here is moisturizer uh, it's really important to use a good moisturizer um, uh, along with retinoids uh, because retinoids that is vitamin a uh, as well as vitamin c tend to dry your skin a little bit so you really want to bring the moisture back to your skin so please use a good moisturizer along with retinoids for better results. Guys, there are a few rumors and myths about retinoids. And first um, is that retinoids tend to thin the skin, which isn't true, just the opposite. It stimulates the collagen production in cells, which thickens the skin. Second one, that you cannot go under the sun using retinoids. Uh, well, you would better use a good sunscreen during the purging stage if you would like to go under the sun and you'd better reduce the sunbathing. But when the purging stage is over, you're pretty welcome to go in the sun. Uh, but again, please remember to use a good SPF sunscreen. Also, guys, uh, there are some rumors that purging phase um, will last forever, which isn't true. During the purging phase, uh, your skin gets used to retinoids and retinoids um, cause all those breakouts um, during the purging stage because it gets everything out of the skin onto the surface. That's why you see those breakouts. And some people also think that retinoids cause acne and breakouts, which isn't true as well it actually helps uh, with acne and breakouts. So basically, retinoids work for everyone, any skin type, uh, but the only thing, you just have to be patient to overcome this purging stage. So guys, what products to start with and what products to use? Any product containing retinoids should be fine as long as you're sticking with it and using uh, it on a daily basis. Uh, basis regularly and um, as I mentioned before I would recommend you to start with a lower percentage of retinoids um, retinol and uh, stick with it uh, for a few months or even a year uh, use it on a daily basis and when you finally see that your skin feels good adjust to adjust to it and um, there is nothing going on in the skin you can get into a stronger uh, retinol cream. For example, I've been using before Sunday Riley um, A plus retinoid serum. This is 6.5% uh, 
uh, retinoids blend so this one is a little bit because it's a serum it's a little bit like weaker than the cream and this is a retinoid oil which you have to apply together and it works really well it didn't cause me any purging or irritation after using this one for like almost a year so i would recommend to use this one and then i jumped into drunk elephant oh i actually used up i think three or four of this ones before i jumped into drunk elephant drunk elephant is a, a retinol cream or one percent retinol and this one is a little bit at first when i started to use it it caused a bit of the dryness but i didn't really experience any flakiness or like i didn't go through the purging stage my skin been already prepared and guys um there is also one thing tretinoin tretinoin is also a vitamin a, a de derivative but this one this is the strongest one and um tretinoin um i think you can use on spots if you are breaking out of get acne um after using retinol because otherwise i think you would cause even it would cause even more flakiness and redness and breakouts this one is really really strong i've been waiting for this guy for a good three months so i decided like oh um maybe i can give it a try I bought it in pharmacy and I applied it on the chin area because my chin is not really sensitive. But the next day, it's been like breakouts everywhere. And I was like, whoa, it's too much. I'm just not ready for it yet. So I'm just keeping it for, for the future and using this one at the moment guys but there are cases when people cannot actually stick with a higher percentage of retinol or even like tretinoin so uh what can we do in that very case then uh we can stick with a lower percentage of retinol adding some facials maybe microneedling something that causes that causes stimulates collagen as well and makes skin thicker and yeah, guys, do not forget about the eye products. They are pretty fine to use as well because percentage of retinol there is really, really low. So you can use it all around your eyes. And sometimes I even use it on the forehead, a little bit here, and my smile lines areas. So this one is good to use as well. You can start with eye cream anytime. It will not cause any flakiness, irritation, redness, or purging, no. So guys, this is it. I hope it was helpful, but if there are some questions left, please let me know, ask me uh, in the section, in the comment section below, and I will answer it. And thank you so much for watching, like to support, and see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.